this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make this cute bubble stocking. I'll be making the small size but the PDF pattern includes a larger size as well and I've added a nice tassel to it when it's finished. So the yarn that I'm using for the video tutorial is Tough Puff Super Bulky Weight Yarn. It matches the tree skirt that I made as well in the baubles. Now, unfortunately, this color is sold out until the new year. So I wanted to give you some alternatives. Mighty Stitch Super Bulky is also a great option. It has a little bit more of a sheen, whereas this is a roving, but it's a really nice yarn as well. And for the larger stockings I made here, I used Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick and the color Fisherman and they all match together nicely so if you're looking for some alternatives you'll find the links on the blog for those yarns. And I used uh, Fable Fur from We Crochet and the links of course will be for this on the blog as well. And I'm using a nine millimeter crochet hook and this is a furls streamline hook and I'm using my supernova. So to begin we're going to make a magic circle. Take your hook, slide it through all three loops and pull through and then we'll chain two and this does not count as a stitch. We'll work nine half double crochet in the ring. And once you've worked nine, you just wanna push your work out of the way, take your tail, start pulling. It's gonna pull in one of the loops. So take the loop that's pulled and then pull it and it's gonna pull that other loop. And then take your tail and pull. And then we'll slip stitch in the first half double crochet to join. And our next round, we'll chain two and work two half double crochet into every stitch around. So we're increasing from nine to 18 stitches. Okay, so I've already slip stitched to join and we'll chain two and work one half double crochet in every stitch around for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so once that round is done, we're gonna turn. I'm gonna chain one and turn. And now we're gonna start working bobbles and we need to work them on the wrong side and that's why we'll be beginning to turn now. So we're gonna work a single crochet in the first two stitches. So I've only chained one at the beginning now because now we're switched to doing single crochets rather than half doubles. And then we'll work a bobble in the next. So yarn over, go through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back down, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back down, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have four loops on the hook. We'll yarn over and pull through all four. And that will pop out, making your bobble. We'll single crochet into the next two stitches and then we'll make a bobble. So again, to make our bobble, we're going to yarn over, pulling up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, go through the same stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, back down through the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Once you have your four loops, yarn over and pull through all four. And we're just repeating this pattern all the way around. We're going to be ending with a bobble. Okay, you should have 18 stitches and 
six of those stitches are going to be bobbles. We're going to slip stitch the first single crochet to join, chain one and turn, and for this round we're just going to be working one single crochet in every stitch around. We'll slip stitch to join in the first single crochet, chain one and turn. And now for this round of bobbles, we want to offset them. So we'll begin by doing one single crochet in the first stitch and then a bobble. And then we'll continue working our pattern, doing two single crochet and a bobble. So I've worked two single crochet and then I'll do a bobble. And just repeat that pattern all the way around and I'll meet you up when I'm finishing. And when you get all the way around, you're gonna finish with one single crochet because we started with one single, we're gonna end with one single, so we have two singles between our bobbles still. Chain one and turn, and then this round, we're gonna work just single crochets all the way around again. Okay, so now for rounds eight through 10, you're gonna be repeat rounds four through six one time. So we're basically repeating the bobble, the single crochet, and the bobble round, and then I'll meet you up again for the heel. So you're just gonna repeat rounds four through six. Okay, so this is what it should be looking at this point. And now for round 11, this is our heel opening round. So I've already chained one and I've turned my work. We're gonna work two single crochet in this first stitch. We're increasing this round as well. So we're increasing it by three stitches. And now we'll work one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll add two in the next. And then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll skip six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We will work two single crochet in the next. and one single crochet in the final stitch. So we have our opening here for the heel and we've increased a total of three stitches. So we just wanna slip stitch now to join, you can chain one and turn. So now for round 12, we're back to the wrong side and we'll be starting the leg portion. So we'll work one single crochet in the first two stitches. Then we'll work a bobble. Okay, and then we should be coming to the chain here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we work. Now, if you want, what you can do is work in the back humps. If you just work in the chain, that's fine. But this just makes it a little bit nicer when, you're, when we're doing our heel. So if you can work in the back hump, that's even better. So there's one. two, and then we'll have a bobble. So 
So we're basically just working our repeat around, just making sure we do it into the chain as well. So a single crochet in the next, getting those little humps. And the last one is another bobble. And then just finish with your pattern all the way around. And we should be ending with a bobble. Little slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. So now we're just gonna work in every stitch around and you should have 21 stitches. And now for round 14, we'll chain one, work one single crochet in the first, and then we're doing a bobble in the next, similar to round six of the pattern. So now again, we're gonna complete our pattern around. So we'll work a single crochet in the next two, and then a bobble and we'll end with one single crochet. So I'm going to complete that around. Okay, so I've ended with a single crochet. We'll slip stitch to join, chain one, and now we'll work a round of single crochets for a total of 21 stitches. And that's round 15. So I'm just completing that round. I'm going to slip stitch to join. And now rounds 16 through 25. We're going to repeat rounds 12 through 15. So all of the section we've just done for the leg. We're going to repeat it now two times. So re repeat rounds 12 through 15 two times. And then we're going to repeat round 12 through 13 one more time. And if you need to refer to this on the blog, the link will be in the description box. And you can check that out or purchase the PDF, which will include the large size as well. So we're going to go up to round 25, just repeating the pattern. So I'm going to complete that off camera and then I'm going to meet you up when we start the cuff. Okay, so now I want you to have your opening facing you with the toe down. We're going to join in to the fourth stitch. One, two, three, four from the right. Okay, we'll chain one there to join it and then we're gonna slip stitch. So we're gonna slip stitch over the three and then we're gonna slip stitch in the corner. And then you should have six going across here. So we're gonna slip stitch across one. And once you get across the six, then we want to do another slip stitch in the corner. And then you should have three stitches remaining and we're going to slip stitch into them as well. And then we'll slip stitch in that starting slip stitch to join. And chain one. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet into the first two. Then we're 
going to do a single crochet three tog across the next three. So we'll go through the first pulling up a loop, go through the next. And it is, if you did your slip stitches tight, it can be hard to get through. Try not to do them too tight and you won't struggle as much as I am here. Okay, then you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. We'll single crochet in the next four. And then we'll do another single crochet three tog across the next three. And then you should have two stitches remaining. And now we've reduced down to 10 stitches. And we'll slip stitch to join. Chain one. Now we'll work a single crochet in the first. Then we'll do a tog. Cross the next three. Single crochet into the next two. I'm just going to need some more yarn, just one second. And we'll do a tog against the next three. Single crochet in the final stitch. And then we slip stitch in the starting. So we've reduced down to six stitches. At this point we can fasten off with a tail. And then take your yarn needle and we're just gonna close it up here. So you'll need a yarn needle or bulky yarn. And then we're just gonna weave through the front loop only. of the remaining stitches. And that's just a really quick, easy way just to pull the heel in. So you can just close that up and then weave in your ends. So weave one way and then we'll weave back in the opposite direction. And then this is how your heel looks. It just really blends in well. Okay, so at this point, I've used a little more than two and a half balls. So you'll need three balls to complete your small stocking. And when you're on that last round, so your 25th round, we're gonna change to our fur on that final stitch. slip stitch in the first to join and we're going to chain two because now we're going to complete the fur in half double crochet rounds you need about half of a ball of fur about 40 grams to complete the fur section and you're going to have 10 rounds in total so we're just working half double crochets into every stitch what I suggest with the fur, it's really important that you count your stitches as you go to make sure that you don't lose a stitch. 
and really keep track of your rows as well. I like to write them down as I go just to, because it's really hard to count your rows after the fact. You really need to keep track as you go because the fur yarn makes it really hard to tell. So those are my tips with the fur. Also, because the Tough Puff is so bulky, I did stay with 21 stitches. But as you can see, it, it does look a little bit smaller than the fur. The fur is just not quite as bulky as that Tough Puff. So if you wanted to increase it a couple more stitches, even increasing it to 23, it would give you a little bit uh, wider fur cuff if you want. If you're using probably the Mighty Stitch or the Lion brand, you'll be okay to stay at 21. But if you think you want to increase it a little bit, you can. Because I didn't on this one, I'm going to continue with just 21 stitches on this one as well. You could increase the first stitch and then maybe the 11th stitch to evenly space out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to work 10 rounds of half double crochet and then I'll meet you up at the end. So once you've completed your 10 rounds you're just going to slip stitch to join, fasten off and that tail can get weaved in. And then this is optional but I think it's nice to add a tassel to the side. So here's one of my tassels. I added some wooden beads. I just picked these up from the dollar store. So I'll just show you quickly how to make this tassel that you can add to the stocking. Now what I've done here is I've got my stocking all folded over. You can decide how far you want your fur to come down. You could pull it down quite far or you can really decide how much fur you want to show. So once you've decided how much you want to fold it over, what you can just do is go to the corner where your heel is and just join in. your yarn here, leaving a tail. I'm going to chain up 12. Slip stitch right back down to the base. Fasten that off. And then what you can do is just tie a knot You can tie that into a bow or you can weave the ends, really whatever is your preference. For now, I'm just going to leave it as a bow and I'm going to trim my tails. And then you can use that to hang the stocking. So now for the tassel, you want to cut strands that are about 12 inches in length. So use your measuring tape. And I want 10. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we need to cut two additional pieces. So you just trim all of your loops. I left my other two pieces a little bit longer, so I'm going to make sure that they're a little bit longer than that in length. 
Okay, so you're gonna take your one strand and you want to tie it in the center of your pile. And when you're knotting, just be careful with roving because it can break. So you don't wanna to pull too tight. Okay, so the beads will go on this section of your tie and this is what you'll tie to your stocking. And then the other tie you just wanna to take to make your tassel ball. And same thing here, you just wanna be careful when you're tying that that you don't. What you'll do is you'll just take your yarn needle and weave that down underneath the tie, just so that hangs a little nicer. Just take your beads, you wanna take a yarn needle, and then just weave them through, putting them on here. So then just to finish that off, what I suggest is taking the yarn needle so that you can make a loop through to tie on the tassel. If you want it to hang down a little bit more, then you just don't want to knot it close to the bead. You can just leave it a little bit looser. And that's what I did with my larger stocking because I wanted it to hang down more. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much.